welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a quick cleaning motiv motivational video. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get all out. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope it motivates you. But before we jump into it, I wanted to give you a quick Dollar Tree haul. Um, today, the kids and I ran in and I went for the solar lights and I ended up buying all this stuff. But it worked out perfect because some things I really needed. And yeah, we're going to jump right into it. First thing I got some, was some trash bags. I also got these two-in-one quick erasers. I got some baking soda. This is what I use to um, freshen up our carpet, all the rugs in the house, basically. I use baking soda. I also grabbed this 360 duster. By the way, that's Caden playing in the background. He's playing with his trucks. And then I got two packs of the um, two-pack microfiber cleaning towels. These are in the auto department. They work really great. I love to use these for my windows. I've been out for a while, so I just picked up some more. I honestly wish I would have grabbed one more pack, but it's fine. I got those. Um, I also got this dish brush for cleaning out the sink. I think I showed you I got floral wire. This is for tying the solar lights around like the pool fence. That's where I plan on using these at. I also got two of these Renews It Snuggle Original like Pops pop-ups. I don't know really what these are called, but they smell really good. And I, if I see ones that I like that smell like I like my house to smell like that aren't overpowering, I will buy them. And I use these in the bathrooms behind the toilet. So it all smells fresh all the time. Um, I also got a little squeegee thing for this shower in the kids' room. Some reusable gloves to make sure that I protect my hands a little bit better. I'm really bad about it. Um, but we'll try again. See. I also got this Spick and Span antibacterial spray cleaner. Um, it cuts through grease and grime, and I really do believe that. I think this is a great cleaner for a dollar, so you can't beat that. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about was this Ultra Downy. Um, this is the Cool Cotton Scent. This smells so, so good. If you go to Dollar Tree, check for this. Be careful. Um, it's very fresh smelling, but not overpowering. I love it. And I make my own um, fabric spray with this. So that's the plan today. Just make a little bit for my um, curtains, my couch, the carpet, and stuff like that. That's what I plan on using this for. I've done this in the past, and I had checked at Dollar Tree. It's almost ready. No, 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 no. <laughs> but they've been sold out of this for a while. I honestly should have bought two bottles. But this one bottle will make a lot and it'll go for a long time. But anyway, I'm going to make the kids some lunch really quick and then I'm going to get to cleaning. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope this video motivates you. So today I am starting in the dining room and I used to always start in the kitchen. That was like my cleaning routine was to start in the kitchen first. But recently, since we moved into our new house, I just haven't really had that much cleaning motivation recently. I've just been really in these like weird moods where I really want to clean house, but I just don't feel motivated. So what I usually do is start on the areas that aren't that bad and it kind of just works me up to feeling motivated. So if you are just stuck and you don't feel like doing anything, try to start with the smaller areas in your house that don't need as much attention and just see if doing that will kind of help get you going. Um, and that's what I've been doing, and it's been working pretty well. Um, you'll notice that I'm like scrubbing the table pretty well, and that is because there was syrup all over it stuck. It was bad. Um, I didn't realize that the kids got syrup all over the table like they did, um, and luckily it came off pretty easily, but it just takes a little 
elbow grease, a little bit of scrubbing, <laughs> and a lot of spray to get it up because that syrup sticks like no other. Um, and by the way, these chairs are from Amazon. They were four for a hundred dollars. I will link them below. I highly recommend them. They are easy to clean and very lightweight, and they're also affordable. So that's great. And I love the way they look. So lots of good things about those chairs. Um, anyway, moving on, we are going to use this 360 duster. This is also from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to dust off the dining room area. Anywhere in the house that really needs to be dusted, I ran around really quick and um, dusted it off. And wait till you guys see how much dust I get off of the blinds. Wherever we go, we're taking control. The future is ours now. friends these are the good times So at this point, I realized I probably should have dusted the chandelier before I cleaned off the table. So right after I was done dusting it, I just quickly wiped it off one more time. Um, but yeah, totally my mistake. I should have dusted before I cleaned the table. Would make more sense. But you know, sometimes like in the moment, you just don't think things through. You know what I mean? So anyway, wiping this off really quick just to make sure there's no dust on the table. Um, and then we're going to move on into the living room area. Alright, so now I'm going to move on to make my own fabric spray and all I do is just add some water to an empty spray bottle and add in a little bit of the Downy Cool Cotton Fabric Softener. I have had some of this for such a long time. This goes a very, very long way um, and I just use a tiny little bit. You can see that there's not much in there and I pour it in, shake it up. You can add as much or as little as you want. Now I like to keep it kind of light and fresh so that way it's not overpowering. Um, and then I just kind of test it out and see how it smells. If I need to add more, I do. And if I need to, um, you know, pour some of it out and add more water, I can always do that as well. Um, I always recommend testing this on a piece of fabric to make sure it's not going to, you know, change the color or anything like that. And also be careful if you have sensitive skin, don't spray it on anything that might irritate you. So now moving back into the living room, I just moved the coffee table out of the way and I'm going to sprinkle the rugs in here with some baking soda. And I like to let this sit for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, honestly, it really just depends. I should have done it right as I first started cleaning, but I just completely forgot. So um, I just sprinkled it on. I let it sit while I cleaned up the bathrooms and then I came back and vacuumed it up and it works great. As long as you keep up with your rugs and your like any carpet in your house, it will stay fresh and it won't take much to keep it that way. Um, but now moving on into the front bathroom. This bathroom always is in bad shape. Um, well, not always. It's just, there's always 
you know, clothes on the ground, just the normal stuff. So I always have to wipe this toilet down. And I usually do this while the kids are bathing. Um, but the past couple nights, they have actually taken a shower. So the bathroom's gotten a little out of control. Um, and I'm just going to quickly wipe off the toilet using the Spick and Span antibacterial cleaner and also wipe off the counter and just kind of tidy up in here. And these little snuggle pop-ups work great behind the toilet. You can't see them, but they make the whole bathroom smell fresh and clean. I always recommend putting those out if you have company coming over. And I just try my best, you know, to make our house smell nice and fresh, but not too strong where anyone will get a headache. So, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm using the Magic Eraser on the faucet, it's because I actually had a lot of paint stuck on there. You'll see some paint on the wall right here that I'm trying to get off. And some of it came off, but some is just not budging, so I'll have to paint over it. Um, but I just like to use these Magic Erasers to wipe off the cabinets and the doors, the door, um, you know, frame and all that, just to make everything nice and white and clean. Um, this is something I probably do, like, once a month as far as, like, wiping off the doors. They're all white, so they get really dirty fast, especially in a house with kids and dogs. Um, you can only imagine the dust and all the paw prints and fingerprints <laughs> that I have. So I just try to keep up with this. And after cleaning up the bathroom, this is whenever I decided to go in and go ahead and vacuum up the carpet. I wanted to do this before Caden woke up and started running all over the rug and getting baking soda all over the house. So that's why I vacuumed it up a little faster than I normally would have. By the way, this is the Bissell Power Force Pet um, Vacuum from Walmart. This is around, I think, $55 or $59, and this is one of the best vacuums I've ever owned. The only problem with it is that the hose is not stretchy. It's very, like, cheap plastic feeling, but the suction power on this vacuum is amazing, and I've had it for over two and a half years now, if not even longer than that. It's probably been longer, but I love it. It does pick up every single piece of dog hair. So now taking my homemade fabric spray, I'm just gently spraying the couch, the curtains, and the rugs. And this is something I do if I have company coming over, and I also just do it on a regular basis to make the house smell nice, especially after I've been cleaning all day and I've vacuumed the rugs. I want everything to have a lingering, fresh, clean scent, and that's why I love the smell of this downy. It's just that perfect smell. Um, and now moving on into the kitchen, I'm going to do the dreaded dishes. Even though I have a dishwasher, dishes are still the worst task, um, right along there with laundry. <laughs> um, but I am blessed to have a dishwasher. That's something I went without for so long and I am so grateful for it, but I still get backed up, believe it or not. Um, and by the way, the gloves I have on are from Dollar Tree as well. I showed those at the beginning and they fit perfect. So if you like to wear rubber gloves to clean with, definitely grab them from your Dollar Tree. I'm sure you already have um, but if you haven't, these are great. They really stick to your hands nicely, and um, I don't know, they just feel good. I've tried some from Walmart before that were just way too big for my hands, and these fit really well. Oh, we're still here, flipping coins about what's to come. It starts getting
So one of the best things I got today from Dollar Tree was this brush to clean out my sink. I definitely recommend checking this one out if you need a good brush to scrub your sink out, especially like in the drain because I have a garbage disposal and the little plastic pieces get so gross. Um, and this is the only brush I've been able to find that fits in there and actually scrubs it clean. So definitely recommend this brush. It worked amazing. We could reach the other side. And you start to doubt I don't blame you cause I feel the same Cause I might get only home for so long And we should be proud All that we can do is hope for miracles Or just let it go But honey, we have to be together Here in the storm So at this point, it was right around 3.30 and I needed to start this chickens because I knew it was going to take a while in the oven. So to season it, I'm using the Mediterranean herb um, seasoning. I think it's the Weber seasoning. Also some Badia Complete, onion powder and garlic powder. And I will list these below in the description box in case you want to try it out. It was really, really good. And I, you can tell I don't go light. I am big on seasonings. So I rubbed that in really well and I just slipped a um, Ziploc bag over my hand so I don't get chicken all over it. I obviously will still wash my hands, but I just didn't want to get any raw chicken up underneath my nails. So if you have gloves, I recommend those, but if you don't, the plastic bag works great. <laughs> um, and you just want to pop that in the oven with aluminum foil over it, and I cooked it until it w reached 165 degree Fahrenheit. So right here I'm just wiping off the counters and I was just using the Method and the Citrus, citrus Scent. Um, and I did dilute that a little bit because I've mentioned before that it's just really strong. So I just diluted it with water and it's a lot better. Um, and by the way, for those who have asked where I got my soap dispenser from and the sponge holder in my sink, I got both of those from Bell's Outlet. They were less than $4 a piece. I always recommend checking out Ross or Bell's Outlet if you're looking for, you know, like home items like that. They have amazing deals.
So now I'm just taking my magic eraser and I'm going to wipe down the cabinet. And magic erasers are also really great for glass stovetops or cleaning out your microwave. Anywhere that gets like a really hard caked on food, um, I definitely recommend having a magic eraser on hand. I love them. I honestly don't buy them as much as I should. Every time I use one, I'm like, wow, I need to have these on hand all the time. And then I just forget and I end up grabbing a towel you know, and spray instead, but I am going to stock up on these next time I go to Dollar Tree because it saved some scrubbing, that is for sure. Um, and I'm just going to wipe down all the cabinets and work on cleaning some of the walls in the house. And Amaya is going to help me, and she's just using a baby wipe. Usually if the kids want to help me clean, I let them have like a, you know, plain rag with some water on it or I just tell them to go grab a baby wipe um, and that way they can just wipe right there along with me and I don't have to worry about their hands getting any chemicals on them and then them possibly touching their eyes or anything like that. By the way, um, this wall that I'm cleaning off right here is full of little footprints because Caden will hold on to the bar or like the top right there and then he'll climb up the side with his feet. He is all boy and <laughs> it's so funny. I always look over there and I have like perfect little feet prints all over that wall. Um, so that has to be cleaned off quite a bit. And today we are just really wiping off the doors and all the frames because they have just gotten a little out of control. So I wanted to clean those up really well. So after that super sweet dance party, we try to do that all the time. I love dancing with the kids and they absolutely love it. Um, I just put my phone on hyperlapse speed and folded this laundry really quick and also made my bed. And then I am going to clean off my dresser and just dust it because it really desperately needed it. Um, I feel like our bedroom is one of the dustiest areas in the house. So it's something I have to wipe down quite a bit, especially having white bedroom furniture. So, I just tidied up my dresser and wiped it down using a baby wipe.
right, you guys. So I got the main living space cleaned up. <sighs> I feel much better now. <laughs> I definitely needed to tidy up. I've been trying my best to keep up with the house before it gets so out of control. Um, I've been doing the same thing with like my car and just trying to do better at picking up after ourselves. Everything obviously still gets a mess. I mean, I'm a mom with two young kids. It is not always clean, but I will say I have been trying a lot harder. Um, and it seems to be working. I can definitely tell that it's getting easier to clean at the house whenever I keep up and keep up with laundry. <laughs> I'm so bad about laundry. I can't stand laundry. Anyway, y'all seen how many piles there were on that bed. And that's why I sped it up really fast because that would have been like an hour of footage. I really don't like laundry. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how the house looks now. I'll show you guys the kids' rooms. Even though I did not clean them up, the kids kind of picked those up on their own. Um, just kind of show you how our house looks right now at the moment. All right, so here's the living room. It is all nice and clean. The carpet's all fresh. Everything smells like downy. It just smells so good in here right now. Um, and we have the dining room. Smells good too. I sprayed the curtains, cleaned everything off, dusted. Um, by the way, this bench is just here right now until I can figure out a way that I can use it or I'll probably just take it up to the ranch house and store it up there because it is falling apart. I honestly would love if my dad could like, you know, fix it up a little bit, but they're just like so wobbly like this and they just, they fall apart or they are falling apart because we use them like every day. You can see they're starting to chip really bad on the corners. Um, the table is fine. The table's in great condition. It's just the benches that you're sitting on with your weight and stuff. But anyway, everything's all nice and clean. Um, I didn't clean off the sliding glass door like I was planned on doing. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's just going to have little paw prints on it anyway. <laughs> but the kitchen's all clean. Dishes are going in the dishwasher. Dinner is in the oven. My bed is made, even though it won't be made in about three hours. I'll be in there. <laughs> and then let's go see how the kids' rooms look. They're so cute. So yeah, it's not that bad. There's some trash from her toys that we bought today from Dollar Tree. And then here's Caden's room. He does have a purple sheet on his bed right now because his sheet is dirty and being washed. So he just is using one of sisters. But his room isn't too bad. So I just took the aluminum foil off of it and it looks so good. I'm gonna like kind of try to brown the top a little bit. So here is completed dinner. We had some chicken, some instant mashed potatoes and gravy, macaroni and cheese, and some canned cabbage. And I figured I would go ahead and insert some outtakes from today's video. This always happens and I think they are hilarious. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. Today's video is going to be a quick cleaning motivating video. <laughs> Um, I plan. But first, I wanted to show you a Dollar Tree haul. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome here if you are new. My name is Carrie, and today's video I'm going to give me... Be, <laughs> I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to make sure you're subscribed and that you have your notifications on. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.